Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations and today's video. As requested by many of you, I am doing my how I decorate my mantle or my console table. Um, I put a message out on Facebook earlier on in the year and the response was overwhelming. I've got messages and emails and I've obviously I've got um, people who wanted to see uh, my mantles and my console table. Now I'm going to do one for autumn. I'm doing my autumn mantle today. Um, I may well do one for Halloween and I'll do one for Christmas and the same thing goes for my console table. Um, this is my mantle. It's not overly deep. It's only probably about six inches deep. Um, I have a, a large clock up here which stays up all year round and I have these wall sconces and these are um, some catty like handle holders that are from QVC UK so I've just placed those on there. I do change the items up on either side um, just to reinforce the fact that this is how I decorate. I'm not an interior designer, um, I may not do it the same as everybody but this is how I do it. Now looking online and looking at how people suggest you decorate, they, says, they suggest you decorate in triangles where you have a, a triangle based vignette on this side, a triangle based vignette on this side and one that kind of goes over the overview. So basically what that means is that you have things on the side which um, mirror a triangle where they have the height and it's smaller things either side so you get that triangle frame. You can also do it where it's parallel or um, balanced where you have the same things on each side or you can have things where you have sets of three something in the middle and then maybe something odd or even on this side so it really does depend on, on what you like the first thing I always do is I always make sure that my surface is clean I have the, I have cleaned this already but um, I, I tend to use a microfiber cloth because this wood here isn't varnished it is in its natural state and I, I use a microfiber cloth and either water or I found this new Mr. Sheen Express Mist. Now I'm not endorsed by Mr. Sheen, this is my personal opinion. And this is, I found this in my local Powerland. And it's really good, I, I, I really like using it. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces on my sofa here of uh, what I want to use. Um, and I'm just going to get, um, get cracking. Now I've got these um, copper and silver charger plates, which I'm going to use to anchor two ends. These are from Wilco, um, which is a store here in the UK. Um, I have these gorgeous autumnal picks, which you saw in a um, haul, and these are from HomeSense. And that's the same, I think I've worked out that that's the same as your home goods, uh, based in the US. It's a TK Maxx company or TJ Maxx company. I'm just going to cross them over and then place them on my mantle because in the center of my mantelpiece I'm going to have this LED um, candle and it's uh, on a timer so I'm going to have that anchored in the center remembering to lift the foliage up so it covers it doesn't you know it's not sitting on it and whatnot and then also from TK Maxx I found these gorgeous um, pine cone candle stands now I'm going to place the shorter one of these just here because I can't place it here because I have my my scope my, my uh, candle sconces, so I'm going to place it here, and then on this side to balance that I've got this lovely um, kind of vintage retro vase, so I'm going to put that on this side, again just so they are almost in exactly the same place, making sure that my plates are in the same place, and then using one of the birch rises or candle stands that I made I will link the video at the end I'm going to use that to raise this tea light holder version and I'm going to have that there and then on this side actually this one needs to come over here because that's actually the shorter one and that goes over I'm going to have that one over here and I'm going to have the taller one of the pine cone on this side so these are almost the same height and these are almost the same height and I've got some faux LED candles, which again are all on timer, so I shall pop those on top. To bring this foliage up, I'm going to place 
that in the vase. And because it's an LED candle, it doesn't matter that it's so close to that candle. Don't do that if you're using real candles because obviously it's a fire hazard. Now, if you look at my my uh, display, I have the anchor, which is my clock, and then it goes down, it steps down. So I need something kind of small here and here to make that triangle. And I'm going to use these um, trinket dishes and I've just got um, some candy corn in those so my household can um, help themselves to the candy corn. So I'm going to put those in both sides and that anchors the triangle. But I also want mini triangles here. So I'm going to put something in these spaces here now I've got these um, glass, they're actually tea light holders, but I'm going to turn them upside down and I'm going to use them as risers and I'm going to place one at the back here next to this and the same on this side. Moving the foliage out of the way and I'm going to then put these lovely kind of autumnal um, squirrel ornaments which I got last year and I'm going to place those on there. It's kind of a squirrel acorn uh, acorn and pine cone kind of vignette uh, this year. I really wanted to go down the kind of the natural creams and the browns rather than the oranges um, because when I did it last year it was almost like an orange that exploded in my living room. It, there was too much orange. I have little bits of orange dotted around but it's predominantly the natural whites, the creams, the browns. Right, to fill in gaps, I've got these lovely white mini pumpkins and I'm just going to place those within my display and it really doesn't matter where you put them and it doesn't matter that they're going to rest on um, underneath or on top of the foliage that just that just um, adds to the that adds to the effect. So make sure your foliage is, is, is uh, neat and tidy. I have these um, faux pine, um, acorns. I'm going to pop one of those in there, pop one of those in there, and then I should probably just have one on either side here, just to mirror back to that. And that, crafters, is how I have decided to do my autumnal mantle this autumn of 2017. Um, I have a triangle vignette here, because I have the height in the middle and then it goes down in stages. So I have my triangle here, I have my larger triangle in the centre here, and then I have another triangle here. All I'll need to do is put some tea lights in here, and we will be ready to go. I hope this helps you in some way, I'm, I, I really want to bring you content on my channel that you enjoy watching. Um, your support as always is very much appreciated and I really do enjoy what I do. So thank you very much for uh, joining me today. I apologise if I was out of shot in any, in, in a, in any way because I can't see um, my camera screen because obviously the, the lens is, is facing me. So I hope this is all okay. Um, give me a thumbs up on this video, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.